Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we have some breaking news on the Gina Carano Disney Twitter debacle. Uh, apparently, she's saying that they're now on record for defaming her again. Because, Basically? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yesterday's headline in the, uh, what was it, Deadline ran it. Uh, Disney said, Gina Carano grotesquely trivialized the Holocaust. That's what Disney said. And she's well, like, that's not true. This is the second time they've Well, isn't that, me. but then people brought up that too. They said, well, that hasn't all these other people too, because every time you don't like a cartoon or you don't like a movie, they start calling you Nazis. Yeah. You know? So weren't they trivializing it too? I guarantee a bunch of people work at Disney has, has called people that. Oh, especially yeah. in California over not liking their show or movie, their Star Wars movie or whatever. Um, so I guess those people all should be fired too because they're trivializing the Holocaust. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, you did the video yesterday uh, talking about this and you pulled up on National Geographic, yeah, which is that was Dis it's owned by Disney. Disney owned, yes. Mostly Disney owned. And uh, they actually supported what she said about uh, neighbors turning on each other during World War II leading up to the Holocaust. So I'm like, I don't know, guys. It sounds like a historical fact. Pick a lane. Basically, people mm -hmm. at Lucasfilm did not like her personally, and they looked for a reason They're, to get rid of her. They, and you know what? Frankly, it's because she didn't vote the way they wanted, or, she, or they thought, or she didn't, you know, she was questioning things that you weren't supposed to question. You're yeah. not allowed to question these things. How dare you? Yep. You know, and, and they wanted her gone because she wasn't in the same lane as them. So let's uh, let's talk about this before you get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, this com comic book resources just put it up, and, and they're wearing black now. They used to be blue, I thought. Maybe they know their, their time is almost up. <laughs> you know? Uh, they're now on record. Gina Carano says Disney proved her point with lawsuit response as their legal battle heats up. Uh, Gene Carano fires back after further criticism from Disney. So this is what she just posted like an hour ago as of recording this video. Mm -hmm. uh, Disney, do you, do you want to read it or should I? I can. Because we need a female voice to read this. Okay. Disney has confirmed what we have known all along. They will fire it, you if you say anything that is, they disagree with, even if they have to misrepresent, malign, and mischaracterize you to do it. They are now on record letting everyone who works for them know that Disney will take any chance they get to control what you say, what you think, or they will attempt to destroy your career. Glad we cleared that up. The First Amendment does not allow Disney to wantonly discriminate, which is what they have done in my case and frankly have now admitted they did. If you ever wanted to know what today's Disney values are, they just told you. Yeah. And look, we have seen this with Disney time and time again. Anybody turns against them. They smear them. Even Jay Rizzullo. Jay Rizzullo, who was a golden boy at, at Disney for years when the Nelson Peltz proxy war came up, they were smearing him as being some out of touch, you know, This is mostly the last few years. Yeah. Because when we were there, for they, this would not have happened. Like when we were doing the media stuff, no. this, they, this was, you always put on the best positive face. You lead with good things and all that. It would not have happened. I was very, I mean, I know what Disney's like. I know what they really like. So, I mean, in that regard, I'm not surprised. But when they put out that mudslinging video, I was really shocked because that was not what would normally be something they would be allowed to go out there. That would that would be brand damaging, image ruining. Um, so, yeah, she's got it. What she's saying is true. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've seen this time and time again. Look at what they did to poor uh, Sandy Cuba. Mm -hmm. They destroyed her. They destroyed her life. You know, uh, just because she called attention to some numbers. She's like, hey, guys, this isn't kosher. Which isn't what a normal company does. That's that, not what that a normal company does. Doing something they shouldn't be doing would do. They'd be like, oh, I'm so glad you caught that. That's a big problem. Hey, Mr. Waternoose, look what I found. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah, pretty much. You're the villains. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Disney have become the villains. And regardless of you know how they try to put a good spin on things and if they course correct their content or whatever, this is who they are now. This is so who they are now. Go back to the, to, the, to the Twitter post. What's interesting, and I brought it up yesterday, was the double standard of Disney. Okay, so Gina was putting things that leaned more right in her, in her opinions. Yeah. Pedro Pascal was the opposite. Now, they were supposed to be friends for years, apparently. But they still are. Like, she said recently, they, she said they, they still talk. Well, he goes the other way. Yeah. He goes to the left the other way. 
And he put up two posts, and, and I, I forgot about this one. This wasn't the one I mentioned, but there's this is one he put up, and he got deleted. Um, he did the losers in 1865, losers in 1945, losers in 2020 with the MAGA hat, comparing mm. what it lo- seems to be comparing uh, Trump seems. supporters. Seems. I, ha- yeah, I know. <laughs> I have to put that seems in there. To, Allegedly. To uh, Nazis and Confederates. And if you go yep. back to the other post that he put up, Germany in 1944, America in 2018. I want to point out that those... I want to point out that those were put in by Obama. But anyway, um, they, he put this up, too. And he said, this is America. And he was allowed. No, look, he's comparing 2018 and, and what's going on with the border issues, a political issue, to the Holocaust in Germany. And he did that, and that was fine. And him comparing Trump supporters to Nazis and Confederates is fine. But Gina Carano is saying, hey, you know, it's polarizing. Neighbors turn against each other. And it's kind of the same thing that's happening here yeah. politically. And it's, it's concerning. It's, it's, that's grounds for firing because anti-Semitism. So she can't say anything like that, make it a politi- political statement. But Pedro Pascal can literally put uh, Nazi prisoners up, Jewish yep. people up, and compare it to politics in the United States. And that was okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like that's the problem. Because double was, standard is the problem. It was a double standard. He was on the other side of it, and they agreed with him. So because they agreed with him, it was totally fine. We know, and even within Disney, and we said this before. Like I think there are different arms uh, in Disney that have a different tolerance for right wingers. Uh, obviously, Pixar and Lucasfilm, there's like zero tolerance for anybody on the right. And even what Gina Carano said wasn't wasn't that bad. It was historically accurate. Yeah, and um, but then we have like Disney proper, where you know Tim Allen, who is an open Trump supporter, is still getting series, you know. But he wasn't allowed to to come back even for a cameo, even for a damn cameo on Lightyear. Well, went- there's a difference though too, because that was Pixar, and Pixar can be bad, but Lucasfilm's far worse. Oh yeah, yeah. there's clearly a gender at Lucasfilm. The you, I mean the the books and everything prove that. We had the writers group, that story group that proved that. There has been an agenda. I, I honestly believe, I don't have proof of this. This is my opinion. I honestly do feel that there was a concerted effort from Lucasfilm employees to cause yeah. as much damage as possible. I also think that it was interesting that a lot of people yelling about her not having pronouns in the bio, bio also did not have pronouns in their bio. Yes. Um, because there was a double standard. And they also came to the defense of certain people like Christina Ariel. And, you know, Moses yeah. Ingram and stuff. But Moses Ingram didn't do anything. I don't Christina think Ariel Mos- did. Yeah, Mo- uh, yeah, Moses Ingram didn't do anything. She just was there. Yeah, but, uh, but Christina Ariel was making comments. She like, was baiting kind of, people. Was yeah. kind of racy, yeah. racisty. And racisty. Racisty. And they defended her. But then Gina Carano was getting attacked over and over about not putting pronouns in her bio because she didn't feel it. She didn't feel comfortable doing so, but she respected and supported those who wanted to. And they still went out of their way to go after her. Yeah. Now, I mean, I will say, I don't always agree with everything Gina Carano says. I do like her. I, I think she would, the Rangers of the New Republic would have been amazing, and I would have loved to have seen that. And I loved her as Cara Dune because she was a strong female character done correctly. But I think sometimes, you know, you should stop tweeting. And Pedro Pascal was on Instagram mostly, but I think he, he took those down. But that he took them down and still wasn't fired. She could have taken it down, that should have ended it, but she still got fired. Yeah, I think that's it. Like anytime, if you have a policy that's like, hey, don't get overly political. If that is your company policy, you know, while you're working for us, just, you know, could you please, for the sake of the show, not get too political. But it I has to be evenly enforced. It has to be evenly enforced. That's kind of like right now there's a, a thing going on with uh, uh, C2E2 where uh, certain certain YouTubers and comic skate people or whatever apparently are not allowed to table at C2E2 and they're claiming that because of their online behavior, but then they have people from Marvel who are literally threatening people with violence on a live stream and they're totally allowed to table because yeah, of politics. Yeah, what about that C2E2? Everybody go ask them. Yeah, right? Because they're politics on the right side and uh, somebody tried to call me out because I call attention to it and I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is very uneven. It's either you're not allowed to go because they think What'd you're- What'd they say to you? Um, no, somebody, it wasn't C2E2, it was somebody else was like, well, you're, you're complaining about the cancel pigs, but you're acting like a cancel pig. I'm like, no, I'm asking, no. I'm asking for things to be evenly enforced. Right. That's the difference. I'm not evenly saying, enforced. I'm not saying that's you should it, be removed. It, what know? I'm saying is if you're removing people for this behavior and this person's exhibiting, well, this other group isn't exhibiting that behavior and this person's openly exhibiting the same behavior and you're accusing them of doing then you need to evenly enforce it. That's what we're saying. Like they keep saying, oh, you're, 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 you're mad because Trump, it's like. We're not even Republican, you dumbass. 
Like, I, I don't always agree with everything people say, but I agree with the right, their right to say it. Yeah. And it's like, if you're going to let them not say it and they're going to get fired, but then somebody else is over here and wants a woman that's a strong female with a strong female character and you fire her, but you let the dude talk, that's a whole other, you know, ball of wax. But yeah. you have one person out there doing the exact same thing that you're accusing this person of, but only one of them gets fired. Yes. And then the other one gets a new deal for a Marvel film. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's got to be evenly enforced because it shows political bias. If you're saying you're getting too political and you're alienating our audience, potential audience, because you're too political, that that's fair as employers say, could you just knock off the political And then tweets? they're going First yeah. Amendment rights. But what about her First Amendment rights? Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like, well, Disney's First Amendment rights. What about everybody else's First Amendment rights, Disney? You know? As a no. corporation, I don't know why your rights would trump somebody else's, an individual. Well, her her whole point is she's being defamed. They're basically well, they just did it again, saying she's trivializing the Holocaust, and it's like she's 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 not. She's saying let's not go back to that and start dragging people out into the streets. Yeah, so so Stalin will start hating people because they disagree with you. Yeah, and that was a very valid point. The other actors I want to point out have made have posted similar. I just saw a post going on Facebook the other day it was pretty much the same damn thing being shared by people I know are very far left. Yeah. I thought it was very ironic. Now, people mentioned that Disney's probably trying to get it dismissed because they're afraid of Discovery. And I 100% agree with that. Yep. Because if it goes to Discovery, then they're going to have to turn over emails, correspondences, all that crap. The you know, They have the video of her being at these meetings. Where they have to turn all that over. And they do not want that. Because I think it's going to come out that it was a concerted effort by certain people. So this is a much, this is a much bigger issue. And I think what is... Uh, you know, the reason they're trying so hard to, to, to shake this one is because Elon Musk is involved. Well, and, that's probably part of it. Yeah. Um, Elon Musk, who famously told Bob Iger to go fuck himself. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Elon Musk is now willing to bankroll lawsuits where people were fired over tweets and hers is like the highest profile case I can think of. And he's personally bankrolling it, but I think he's also doing it because he wants to stick it to Disney and you're talking to the richest man in the world. Like he's not, he's not going to be bought off. Like no, you, he said that you're gonna try to blackmail me about money. Yeah. yeah like I, I got more money mean. than I got more money in like but my pinky than your whole freaking organization. What's you know interesting what? about this Twitter thing was back at when it happened, it was the end of November last year. And it was during this event. And basically what was going on was it was after Elon Musk had retweeted somebody and he admitted he that he shouldn't have what he said wasn't what he meant, but he shouldn't have said it. Yeah. Anyway, so all these advertisers were threatening to boycott Twitter. We're going to boycott Twitter. And since your advertising is going down, you need us here and everything else. We're going to boycott it. And Disney was one of them. Yep. And he was like, well, I don't agree with his statement on whatever. But I don't agree with a lot of Bob Iger's statements. But that's another story. And they were going to boycott. But they didn't. Except for their Disney Parks, Twitter was not on there since November 30th until yesterday to promote Ti Tiana's bio adventure, their new Imagineering show, and the restaurants coming to, Dis to downtown Disney and Disneyland. Other than that, they hadn't posted anything since the end of November last year. However, all their other accounts, their Disney account, Disney Plus, Marvel, Star Wars, um, I think Disney Shop Disney, mm -hmm. all of them have been on Twitter this entire time, and they all have gold checks. Yes, you have so to pay for those. They've been paying for it the you entire time. You have to pay time. for those. And yes. they're running ads because we yes. saw ads yes. for them. Vote, vote, vote the white paper, guys. Vote the white paper. Yes, they're running ads. So the whole time they're yelling about this, they're still paying Elon Musk and, and X. Just yeah. point that out. Yeah. Now somebody point out that uh, Bob Iger unfollowed Elon on on well, X. So Oh, Ouch. boo hoo hoo hoo. Well, yeah. But they're like, he pops on once every six months to tweet something, whatever, political, and then he disappears. But like, yeah. Th but political to the, to the left. Yes. And so th this is just, it's crazy because they've been spending money. That, like I said, the gold checks, you ha you're an organization, you have to pay for those. But wait, wait. They've been I spending money on X the whole time. But if Iger's going and posting political comments, how come he's allowed to have political stance? That's that's a damn. Because he's good. represented the company, but your company is 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 a lot yeah, of people. I know, I know. A lot of people actually it goes to other countries too that aren't yeah. even Republican or yeah. Democrat. So you have a lot of people that you're representing as the company. You should be staying out of politics completely because you're you supposed be. to represent your entire group of people, and just you're not. You're representing what you want to hear. You, they should be, but you know. But we're not going woke, guys. I, people just don't understand what that word means. They don't, I don't understand even know what, what that word means. means. <laughs> God, that's that's crazy. So yeah, we'll see. That pro they probably are. I mean, a lot of people. I think they're afraid. 
They are afraid. They should be afraid because Disney's not really burning it up in the courts. They might have won the proxy battle. Uh, I that I, I'm sure we'll have more details on that after you know months down the road. But I think it basically came down to them getting back up from big groups and Disney fans just voting for Disney just because it's Disney and there's a lot of individuals that own Disney stock or they just didn't vote at all and it just defaulted for but Disney. There, but there's so many, like, you know, like they let Pedro Pascal make comments twice yep. that we know of. Yep. And then he didn't get fired. Yep. And it, what it reminds me of is because, well, he's the star. He's the star of the show. And she wasn't. And it reminds me of like in high school, when I was in high school, there was a, you got a zero if you got caught cheating rule. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the bunch of the, the, the quarterback and a bunch of football players um, got caught cheating. Okay. Mm-hmm. Basically, they didn't get they didn't get they didn't get the zero and didn't get kicked off the football team. Suddenly, they were allowed to to not be punished for that. And I know another instance where the bullying issue: if you were got caught bullying, you're kicked off the sports teams. So this one team, these teammates on this one team were bullying this girl, and they had proof of it. They got caught bullying her, and they well, it's sports season, and we need them. So the rules change for them. But other people that bully got punished, but they didn't get punished. And that's what it reminds me of because they're our star. They can do and say what they want. But no one else can. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, 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 it's a du- the double standard has to end. And that's, that's just what it is. And it just pisses me off. But they so just, whatever. they did just, they did just prove a point. They did know? just prove a point. So I I, I'm sure that's going to come up. And I don't think, I don't think Musk is going to let off on this one. I think he's, he's going to see it through. Cause you know, just cause somebody offers a settlement doesn't mean you have to take it, you know? Um, so they're going to use all their friends in the media to try to, but it's like the more you guys talk, the more you're proving her correct. What this article said, they say that that wasn't true, or they is he to affirm and you know, oh, okay, go down. She doesn't regret the social media posts. Her why her, would she have to? Does Biger regret his? Um, said she also stands by posts she's made, which have also covered her other hot button issues like vaccines, vaccines. lockdowns, well, and yes, wearing masks, right? Because that all proved to be so effective, correct? <laughs> I mean, it turned out to be true. They kept they were they were literally taking uh, news outlets and banning them from different platforms like with Twitter at the time because they put up women were having trouble after the vaccine, which they've proven after the fact that yes, women statistically significantly had issues with the vaccine for reproductive problems. So wait, this is okay. So this is the hot bu- button issue. She, she said in a recent interview that a close friend passed away shortly after getting vaccinated, and she wholeheartedly believes it was the vaccine that had killed him. Well. That happened to me too. So, uh, it happened to a lot of people. It happened to a lot of people. I'm sorry. I'm not saying it didn't work, whatever. And I don't think it's controversial. Uh, there are, there were side effects. There were, I don't think everybody had side effects, but there definitely were well, side effects. Well, a lot of people died of blood clots for no reason. I'm just saying. We, we've had, well, uh, you had issues. Um, we have uh, a writer of ours on one of our websites had issues with clots, didn't kill him, but he had issues didn't with it. Didn't have it t- before. I or, just or, saying a, it's a neighbor, a neighbor we know uh, ended up in the hospital with blood, blood clots. Clot. It's awfully coincidental that all these people within the span of a year all had blood clots. And they're, they're, now, is it all necessarily that? We can't no. know. But you're not going to be able to prove it. They're going to make sure. You're not going to be able to prove it. But I'm just saying. That's not a controversial statement. She believes she's not a doctor. She's not a scientist, but she believes that the two things may have been related based on the fact that a whole lot of other people have had And and questioning things like vaccines, lockdowns, wearing masks. So did, um, oh, the one girl from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah. And they didn't fire her. Oh, and she attacked Trudeau, too. And they didn't fire her. No. Well, I think she fired herself because the movie bombed, but yeah. No, but I'm saying they (laughs) they did did the movie after the fact. They didn't fire her. Yeah, but... I mean, the stuff that she's talking about, like she went to uh, an RFK rally, I guess, and RFK is a Kennedy and and she, he's married to a Hollywood actress. And like, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I mean, this is the bizarro freaking clown world that we live in where Kennedys are considered alt-right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just saying that's where we're at. Kennedys are considered all right. And if you support what the Kennedys are saying, you're a Nazi. I'm like, what the fuck world are we living in right now? Mm-hmm. Well, no, everybody can call you a Nazi if you're not liking a, a cartoon. They a cartoon show. They can punch you in the face. Because Physically they, they threaten you and get to go to conventions. Right. You and, know? And, it's and, like, and what the hit you because fuck? they call you that. And that that's not mocking the Holocaust and minimizing the word at all. Yeah. But, you know... Saying yeah. that you guys got to watch out because that's you know they didn't just get away with it. They had to turn people against each other first 
you know, and, and that's what they did. That's th not incorrect. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the double standard. They didn't have double standard. The they double standard, that's the thing. And they just proved themselves 100% correct that they definitely are taking sides. Yeah, and it's like, you don't have to agree with the behavior. You don't have to agree with someone's comments. You don't have to agree with, like, you brought about the con. You don't have to agree that, no. you know, with, with the behavior or someone gets bad. But you have to evenly enforce it. If, yes. If, if, the, if the rule is you make overly political posts, you get fired, then everybody has to adhere to that rule. If the rule is uh, you say stuff that the convention doesn't like and you're not allowed or, or make threats or whatever or people feel unsafe you're not allowed to table there then it has to be evenly enforced that's Especially all i'm saying flat out saying they want to punch somebody yeah, yeah. when somebody's flat so, saying well the same thing happened with freaking gen con the guy said he was going to punch quartering in the head and guess what he punched quartering in the head he's a nazi because he's a nazi right that's like come on god what timeline are we living in meanwhile brianna Wu is attacking all these left wingers too about like, women in gaming and yeah about, yes, i know i'm like i don't know what planet or what What's timeline we're down? living What's in down is up everything's backwards, backwards is forward up up down down dogs left, and cats right, left, living right. together mass hysteria it is mass hysteria anyway, we, we're gonna wrap this let's, up let's wrap this up uh please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants we'll talk later bye